What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> day is it? The date? 12, May, Thursday. What year? What year is it? So this is my new series, Years Later, which I think has been done before on YouTube, so this is not a totally original idea, but either way, I want to do a series of this, where I talk about movies that came out 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, to like 50 years ago, see how they hold up now, they're still good in general, so the first one I'll be talking about is From Dusk Till Dawn, came out on January 17, I think, 1996, and it has been 25 years since that release date, and I would say right off the bat, it is still holds up, it is still a really good movie, the only reference or thing I knew about this movie is the Salma Hyde scene, which I will get to when I get to. It's an amazing scene, but either way, our two main characters, played by Quentin Tarantino and George Clooney, already amazing characters in that opening, right? Where they're trying to rob and get some money or whatnot. Already complete badasses, killing that one dude and just walking away with the behind their back. Love that. I was like, I already love these two characters. So after they leave throughout their journey in Mexico, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. In the Mexican border, they meet a couple of characters. They meet an Asian kid with his old man, I think. I'm forgetting their name because I'm horrible with names. So I'm sorry about that. They meet a little girl. Well, not a little girl, but she's like 16. I think one girl, I think. And I believe a pastor, I think. Oh, horrible with this this is supposed to be a vampire movie which i won't lie i was like okay this is a vampire movie right like halfway through in i was like where's the vampire but it didn't matter to me because the film was already still good that was like i kind of forgot about it but i was like okay when are the vampires supposed to come because i've always heard that this is a vampire movie i was like where are they but again it didn't matter so when they get to the strip club the titty twister immediately i was like all right you know with the pussy line and the first thing I immediately noticed are, you know, the girls. But Danny Trejo is like the bartender. I was like, holy shit. Danny Trejo, George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Tell Behind. Cast is great. And like the other side characters, they're like fun too. And they just start hanging out drinking, thinking this is all normal, right? And then all the dancers come out. And then, you know, the the one, the one and only Solomon High Cup. out it's what an amazing scene right i don't want to explain anything because i imagine if you're like six years old and watching this in the theaters back in 96 or something even if your parents allowed you or something god damn i wanted to know if you were in the theaters watching this back in 96 let me know in the comments because it would have been a very interesting experience if you saw this in the theaters with like your parents or like just a bunch of friends she starts dancing and she immediately comes to you know showing her feet putting it in his mouth because tarantino love his feet fetishes but either way she starts dancing around and uh, everything's fine until all of them turns into vampires they transform and then it turns into vampire movie so that genre change just like like that it's like oh shit okay twist a rude one now all right this is fine this is more of like a west not western the first half is like i don't know just two brothers just hanging out and trying to make some money and whatnot and then halfway through or a little bit more halfway through in the film it's like guess what vampire movie bitch it's like oh shit all right and everyone's fucking dying and whatnot it takes place in that strip club scene after they get to it right it's a one place location film now it gets bloody and gory which i love i was like okay they're gonna kill these efforts it but they're gonna be blood and some gore and boy boy there was especially when they like go into a little hallway hideout not hideout but there's some kind of weird runaway thing and then they come with the web survivors with i think the pastor guy the little white girl the teenage girl and then the teenage boy george clooney's character they come out with their weapons and starts killing them it's like yes more blood please and the look of the vampires they weren't scary at all right here's the thing i'm not really scared by vampires so i was like okay at least make this fun and it was fun they went with more like just fun killings and more for like basically just fun over i don't know how to say it but like you know i wasn't scared i was like all right kill these goddamn vampires speaking more on the brothers character team character he's more of a hothead just gun ho first character while George Clooney he's the one the brains the big brain guy you know just thinking about what to do planning out stuff which is why it makes sense that Quentin Tarantino's characters die because he's the hothead you know he's the one that's a little bit reckless and I don't think George Clooney even bats an eye I mean he probably does but he's like listen I'm more about this guy vampires he has an awesome line about the vampires just being like you know what don't care if he's a butcher in this by the way but this has a line that says you know it doesn't matter if he's vampires or not can we just all accept that these are goddamn vampires or something, something along those lines I don't want to hear anything about I don't believe in vampires because I don't fucking believe in vampires what I believe in my own two eyes and what I saw is fucking vampires now do we all agree that what we are dealing with is vampires in all honesty, if the first half didn't have these, like, just good and awesome characters and these little side characters, the film would have fall really flat. Because, again, I was expecting vampires. All I heard was vampires in Salomon Hike. But I was like, okay, something's gotta, you know, hook me in the first half. And it did with its characters. And it's great. So, I didn't have any issues with, you know, the first half being no vampires. Because they made up for it in the second half. And the first half was already good. So, they actually did that somehow. I was a little worried. And while I was like, oh no, am I not gonna like this? Nope, I was wrong. But then within those four last remaining survivors, you know, the teenage boy dodged with his 
balloon like acid stuff he sadly likes the pastor the arrow priest thing oh god what the hell is that called shit i don't know my i don't know what the hell i'm saying but he eventually turns and dies and whatnot and then there are two mini stars like george clooney and this little teenage girl and they basically have to wait until it's sunlight until dawn so that all the vampires can die you know all the mexican police border police people i think they come in all the vampires get like you know sunlight and hurt them they get out and yeah they all die all the vampires die all they needed to do was to survive and they did and then george clooney is just kind of like what the fuck is going on police mexican police are just like the hell's going on as well he immediately punches the one guy which is funny you know all their chains and whatnot they leave leaving the teenage girl just to be like fighting for herself which i thought was funny and that's at the film ends so and like the theme itself when the opening credits and whatnot it sounds like a bit of a western so i'm assuming it's a western right i'm gonna say it's a western even though it probably won't correct me if i'm wrong but yeah like i really like this film i was expected to because of the weird sort of shift but then in the end i really liked it that was pretty good i don't know if i would say i'd love it but it's, it's pretty damn good so i'm glad i actually watched it and waited for the 25th anniversary because i don't know why i should have watched it i didn't watch this earlier but now i'm gonna like watch this for around the halloween season not for a video but just for my own time just be like this is an awesome not awesome but a pretty good vampire movie that i'm gonna keep watching for the rest of my life throughout you know the halloween season so yeah from dusk till dawn 25 years later it's still pretty damn good that was the first sort of episode i guess i'm gonna call these episodes either way the first series or the first video of the years later series i hope to make this into a little series in the new year of 2021 because you know last year it sucked but yeah that's all i gotta say about this film and this new little series so this has been the road so far and thank you for watching